Hello everybody, Brad Shuffler here again with another tutorial video. This time I'm going to be talking about some basic settings that you should be thinking about in your course before the school year starts. There's a few things that I really want you to take a moment to look over and make sure they're set up correctly. So we're going to start by going into one of our courses. Hopefully at this point you've copied over the template course that we created for you. So once you're in your course, the first thing you're going to do is go down and click on settings. And we're going to make a couple confirmations, confirm a couple things on this page for us. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to click more options. So first thing we want to do, the one that really is important is you want to make sure this is unchecked. I'm going to hide totals in student grade summary. You do not want that checked. You want to make sure they can see their grades in Canvas. That would be silly if they couldn't. So we want to make sure we click unclick that button. So that should not be checked. It's up to you if you want them to see grade distribution graphs, um, that is your choice, and then whether or not you want them to be able to make comments on announcements. That's up to you. But the big one on this page is that button right there, uncheck the hide totals in students grade summary. It appears from my experiences so far that the default has been changed. Previously the default was to hide, now it appears the default has switched to not hiding, so that's a good thing and will be one less thing we have to worry about. The other setting I definitely want you to take a section, second to look at is the navigation. So you'll notice on this left side we have all these different things on here. And the reality is I might not use all of these or want them all on my page. So what I can do is any that I'm not going to use, I can go ahead and click the three dots on the top and hit disable. I can also do Britannica School is not something I use, disable. And then I can add back any that I might actually want. So if there's any in this bottom list you think you would actually use, you can put those back on as well. In general, I would like you to see that the assignments are disabled. You would probably want pages disabled, quizzes disabled, and you would probably also want to, any of the ones at the bottom, those ones that you don't ever use or not apply to your subject area, you want to disable those. The reason I say announcements, pages, and quizzes should be disabled is all of those things should be linked from the modules page. You want to make sure that everything they're doing, you're always going to push students to modules, and that's where they'll find all that information. So I would probably disable all those and make sure that they're always going to modules to find what they need. So again, any of these you have that you don't want to use, you can go ahead and remove. And again, all you have to do is click the three dots and click disable. This is kind of my recommendation. Home, announcements, discussions, grades, syllabus, modules, conferences, Google Drive, Lockdown Browser, Nearpod, and GradeSync. Students won't see GradeSync, but that's good for you to have access to. Those are really the main features and settings I want to make sure you take a look at. So again, making sure we're updating our navigation and making sure students can see overall grades. Those are going to be important to make sure you're organized and making sure students know where to go to get correct information. As always, thank you all for watching my video. And if you have any additional questions, you can always reach out to me, bradley.shreffler at ocps.net. I'm always available to help you out there. And I know you are going to do awesome things for and with your students this year.